Your eyes do not deceive you. This is Portal RTX running above 30 FPS on the Steam Deck natively. Hi, I'm King Volps, and today I will be walking you through on how I did this and uh, how to do it yourself. So what I've essentially done is I took some new code from the NVIDIA Remix GitHub that added better RADV support, which is, uh, for those who don't know, uh, the AMD drivers for Linux, which Steam Deck runs, and I added it into the game, which doubled performance, which is amazing, considering that last time the game looked like this, it was running at 30 FPS and an unstable one at that. And today, I have I have packaged it into a mod with presets that I will be showing you later, and. Uh, yeah, just amazing that we could get running this well on a Steam Deck. So one of the benefits of having such extra headroom with the performance preset is that now we can hit 720p. Alright, first of all, you need to be in desktop mode for this. Uh, so you're going to go ahead and download the mod from the link down below. Uh, and then next you're going to go to Steam. Go and look for Portal of RTX. Manage. Browse local files. Alright. Then you're going to go open the mod. You're going to take the contents of the DXVK patch, copy it all, go into bin and in the .trx file, I mean folder, and then you're going to paste it on here, replacing everything. All right. And then for the quality presets, you just go into one of these folders, drag this into just the portal RTX directory, replacing the current one. And then there's a list of resolutions in the README uh, that I tested and recommend. And then after that, you should be good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope uh, hope you find it helpful. See you in the next one. Hi, post editing King Volpez here. I totally forgot that I had to mention you need a launch command in the properties of Portal RTX. I'll go ahead and throw it up on screen so you can use that in the launch command. You just go to properties and it should, it should be right there. All right, uh, thank you for watching the video and see you next time.